The floor is yours for us, you. uh, Nicholas and uh, uh, Jonas and Carissa. I think we can welcome them with a round of applause. Yeah. All right. Good luck. <laughs> Carissa? Yeah, we're starting now. Yes. The floor is yours, right. Carissa. All right, all right. Welcome to Craft Academy. We are the June 2, 2017 cohort. Carissa, Jonas, Nicholas, and Faraz. And we are students here at Craft Academy. Um, Craft Academy is a, co uh, a coding boot camp. The purpose of the boot camp is to learn to code real projects in record time as an alternative to learning how to code on your own or study in a traditional university. Wait, what? <laughs> We're on track. We students had no prior experience in coding before attending Craft Academy. The course ran for 12 weeks where we went through different frameworks, programming languages, and agile methods. The final project is to cement the knowledge and skills that we have learned in the boot camp. We work together with a company named Gigafood. Gigafood makes organic plant-based vegan food. They deliver breakfast, lunch, dinner, fika, and mingle buffets to businesses and organizations. They work from their own kitchen in central Stockholm where they make everything from scratch. Gigafood needed to cut down the time spent on administration and handling orders and spend more time on developing their company and new recipes. They were also using various tools for different ta tasks. To simplify their ordering process and reduce their administrative tasks, they needed a new tool that would automate most of the re repetitive tasks. Here's where we came in. All right, uh, we needed to create the MVP that would cater to Gary Food's needs. Uh, MVP means a minimal viable product that does the job. And in a true agile fashion, we started out uh, with a design sprint. A design sprint is a time constrained five, pro uh, five stage process that uses design thinking to reduce the risk when bringing in a new product to the market. We had three days to complete our design sprint. The main objective of the design sprint is to create a backlog, which basically means to have a to-do list that is executed in a specific order. To complete our project in time, we had to mo modify our design sprint. We added and removed some of the steps and reprioritized some of the features uh, for the future. GigaFood worked closely with us during this time and their input was extremely helpful. As a project increased in complexity and size, we needed a good tool to manage our workflow and priorities. We used Pivotal Tracker to do this. Then we gave each story a complexity point based on our previous knowledge of the specific task or technology. We voted on how many points and how much time and effort a story would take, usually uh, ranging to one, two, three. Okay. So now we come to the implementation. Um, before we started the development, uh, uh, we made some decisions about what technologies uh, we were supposed to use. Uh, so we decided to build a web application uh, that is based on Ruby on Rails. Uh, for version control, uh, we used uh, Git, and the, the source code is stored on uh, GitHub. Uh, we also used uh, something called Semaphore for continuous integration, and the application is uh, deployed uh, to a service called Heroku. Uh, in the application, we used uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript uh, for the front end. And we also used Amazon Web Services uh, for storing um, documents uh, like invoices. Uh, in order to meet the requirements, uh, that were specified during the design sprint, uh, we started the development with the most uh, highest uh, prioritized um, features. Um, these features were uh, de developed in cycles in the sprints, 
which were uh, delivered and uh, reviewed uh, during a sprint review, but also included uh, Gigafood as a, a customer, uh, where they uh, gave their approval or feedback if something needed to be changed. Uh, during the development, we have worked uh, test treatment uh, and uh, created a test uh, based on the user stories we uh, wrote during the uh, design sprint. Uh, and uh, we used uh, something called RSpec for unit test, and we used uh, Cucumber for automated uh, acceptance test. Uh, we have also used uh, something called GEMS, uh, that is uh, packages of code developed by other. Uh, this is uh, used to speed up the development. Uh, one of the most important GEMS we used is called Active Admin, that has helped us uh, to create the backend uh, admin interface. So, enough talking about the technologies. Uh, so, what did we build? Uh, we have built an, um, um, okay, um, a web application in, uh, that consists of two parts. One part is the customer, uh, the part uh, of the application that Gigafood's customers uh, can see the menu and they can select what dishes they want to order and go through an order flow. And it also consists of this admin uh, that I talked about. Uh, that is a backend uh, where the Gigafood can uh, save orders and uh, they can create invoices and uh, do a lot of administrative tasks uh, around this um, the process of making the food. So, enough talking, let's do some uh, demoing. So, this is the application uh, that for us will open, uh, that is deployed on Heroku. Uh, so, waiting. He <laughs> has to wake up, right? Yeah. Okay, and this uh, interface is also reflecting uh, the Gigafoot's current website. So it's uh, the font and look and feel is uh, mimicking. So they like, want to have like a coherent look and feel. Uh, so this is uh, where we can see uh, the dishes uh, in uh, different categories. And there's also different uh, controllers uh, where they can uh, select how many of each dish they want to have. So, uh, and they also have like requirements uh, on that um, the minimum quantity. Uh, so, if you use the controller, for example, if it's 10 portion and you press the plus sign, it's automatically to 10. Uh, so, you can't select uh, something below the minimum quote that is specified in the admin interface. So here for us that's selected some dish dishes and then in the bottom part where is uh, continue next button. <laughs> uh, so here we can see a summary of what we have selected and how much it cost and uh, how much uh, VAT it is added. Uh, and so here we can also specify if we have any allergies uh, so it can be information to the kitchen. Okay, and we also uh, provide the billing address and delivery address. You can also uh, use a drop down to select from a calendar. <laughs> and also time if you type it. Okay, and the, the um, delivery hmm, is hidden uh, when uh, pickup is selected. Uh, most of the um, the text, well, um, the text that's uh, presented on the website is also uh, able. To, they are able to change it in the backend uh, um, interface if they want to change the header or something. So, and we can press uh, submit order, and then we come to a thank you page. So, 
And now we can see that this is order number 29, we can see in the, in the URL. <laughs> uh, so let's go to the backend and see what has happened. Will we be able to see order 29? So this is the active admin uh, again that is giving this uh, login. And uh, the active admin is using something called device for user authentication. So if you log on. So this is the admin interface. And uh, now we can go to the, the order tab. And here is the new the order. So we can see what the dishes and the quantities that has been added to the order, and also all the information that the user provided during the checkout. Uh, here also we have, a, if a customer calls and say that they have, uh, they want to change the amount of dishes or they want to remove something, they have also the opportunity to do it, do it here. Um, And we can also change the information about the customer if they have misspelled something or need to change the delivery address or so. Uh, we can also demo the generation of the, uh, the invoice. Uh, so first we press the button to generate the invoice and then we have a new button to view the invoice. Uh, and it's a PDF document that is stored on Amazon Web Storage services. So now we can send the invoice to the customer. Uh, we have also a requirement about the menu that we want to uh, ship with the delivery to the customer so we can have like a nice menu to show what we, the food for the day. So. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was like four minutes and we generate that because we can, we yeah. use that. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Hello world. <laughs> okay, what part are we on now? Yes, and we can also show uh, what we can, if you go to dishes, you can add and remove dishes from a web page. And here we can also add a sort key for um, adjusting what order the dishes and categories uh, are presented on the page. So should we try to create a new, uh, maybe Craft Academy special? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a sweet. I Okay, so if we open a new tab, maybe, and uh, go to the... Yeah, so there it is. <laughs> Okay, and you can do the same thing in the categories. So. And also, we can, I think we can show uh, um, yeah. the language. Uh, I think this is quite similar. So, here's the translation. Uh, so, here we, we can customize uh, the text on the border page. Uh, pages. So right, the, the thing that was saying on the menu, "Hello World," we can we can change that. Is that what you said? Uh, did it say "Hello World" on, yes, the, on the menu? Yeah, at the bottom of the menu. Okay. Yeah, if you type an email here instead, uh, this is Gigafold email. So if you type their email address. Uh, hello at gigafood.se uh, And this is displayed on the confirmation page uh, when a user has uh, made an order. So if you try to order the Craft Academy special, uh, 
I think that concludes the uh, demo. All right. And now we have two more big classes coming to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we had some challenges during this process. And uh, yeah, we, and we used the agile development process to, like, to work with this. It's like a dynamic way to work, and meant for adapting to change, basically. And uh, as Faraz mentioned earlier, we started with a three-day design sprint. Uh, so together with GigaFood, we, uh, we went through the business models and the uh, kind of functionality they wanted. And uh, yeah, uh, after this first review we did, after a couple of days of working with the backend and uh, functionality stuff, um, we had a sprint review, and then we discovered that we had some problems here. We hadn't really understand the way GigaFood work. I mean, from the flow of ordering to the preparing kitchen, and further on to the delivery to the final customer. We had built a model um, that was um, exa not exactly matching the requirements that they needed. So, and some part we had uh, done wasn't even possible to do yet because of uh, other external parts wasn't ready for it. Uh, furthermore, we weren't speaking the same language. Uh, we were talking much more in a technical way while GigaFood had more practical, non-technical way to speaking, more like uh, ground-based and uh, yeah. Um, so, um, this is where the Agile process comes in and works at its best, to adapting to change. And we made some re prioritizations, <laughs> as a hard word. And um, yeah, we're, yeah. Um, yeah, on this first review, we, we were uh, more concentrating on the final of common ground and to find a kind of a language, so to articulate the solutions that we wanted. And now Ida has joined us here. That was our uh, par partner in crime here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so th those were the challenges and the solution. Uh, we had uh, one of the things we worked with was something we called a dry run uh, that we did together with Ida. And um, a dry run is more, more or less a kind of a way to understand the flow, the process, and explaining everything in more detail. Um, and we attacked it from like two perspectives. One from the point of the customer, um, how the customer interacts with the um, web page, and uh, what kind of uh, expectation do the customer have, and further, so forth. And the other perspective was from the order administration process, like from the part of GigaFood. And uh, how the question were like, how can we improve they automated uh, technical support, what tasks do we want the application to perform and how should it look like and that kind of thing. So we did a review of that and that was really helpful and fruitful in many ways and moved the application process forward. Uh, so, and during this process, we had several reviews where we went through the work with them and yeah, had a, um, um, a conversation and discussion with the, the clients. So that was a process we worked on. So to summarize the project we went out to help GigaFood with, uh, it was to simplify the order administration, 
and to use fewer tools to do the same job uh, compared to what they were doing before. And also to lay the foundation to continue to build features uh, that will help Gigafood uh, make a bigger impact on the world. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Did you manage to Photoshop you in? <laughs> That's so awesome. That's so cool. Double wow. for us. Double, Double for us. us. Right. Wow. Well, I'm. I, thank you, guys, and Carissa. Awesome. That was really, really great. Uh, I don't know what you guys think. Woo right. Fantastic. Okay. So, so uh, the life of the of a developer is sometimes uh, uh, an unrewarding one because, like, if you look at the at the application that they've built from a user's end user's perspective, it is just a menu and some buttons, and they can click on next and fill in some info like a like a form and and uh, and. Uh, and our order is being sent off, right? And in this world of, of ever-growing e-commerce and you know, changing of our, of our behavior, we are m moving more and more into the digital, digital world. We kind of get used to this stuff and it, it doesn't look like much, right? But you know, I, I know uh, that these guys have been working really hard, making tons of small decisions, big decisions. As Nicholas was, uh, was saying, you know, there was some misunderstanding, not understanding the customer requirements, perhaps a little too techy, not techy enough, you know. And, and this, this process was, was really, really uh, creative and awesome and full of obstacles, full of overcoming obstacles, you know, small victories, uh, small defeats. Uh, you know, some a lot of frustration, a lot of happiness mixed together, right? And then, and that's what, and 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 at the end, they have a working solution. You know, both for the both for the for the end user that he can actually or she can actually order some food, some great food. And for those of you who will stick around, you can taste that food as well because we 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 catered from them today. But also for the people that runs this this amazing startup, Gigafood, because now they can actually have a simplified process and, and they can gather stuff together and they can they can be more effective and and uh, um, uh, and make a, bad, a bigger impact on the on the world because that's what they set out to do, right? They may, they want to make people eat more healthy food and we kind of supported them in that in that process. And and for me personally. I've been with these people for 12 weeks and I've seen them take their baby steps into some very simple programming, not understanding you know, the basic iterators or, or how, how the response and request architecture is, or request response architecture is built up and stuff like that, to having them develop systems, right? They develop, develop fully featured system. And for me personally, it's, 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 it's an re extremely re rewarding experience and that's why I, what, that's why I do this. Uh, and run this company because we can make an impact on 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 people's life and have them have them uh, uh, transition into into this industry, which I think is amazing. Uh, so, guys, really, I'm I'm uh, extremely proud of you, and I'm I'm very happy that you made it to the end of the of the of the line. I haven't been the easiest coach to live with, and you guys haven't been the easiest students to live with. Uh, but but at the end of the day. I think we, we, we kind of did it together. You played the main role. I was a support. So I had a support role in that in this in this journey. But I think we are both all of us worth a round of applause. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, if you're curious about Craft Academy, uh, we are based here in Stockholm and in Gothenburg. Uh, we also have a satellite in in South Africa where we have students. And we do this every every 12th week. We we graduate, or every 10th week, we graduate a new uh, small batch of students, uh, and we go through that journey over and over and over again uh, to take people who are not familiar with web development, when we we turn them into junior junior developers. Uh, this is not the end of the road for these people, nor is it the, the end of the road for our uh, other graduates. Because one of the th most important things that we teach our students is the ability and willingness to continue to learn new stuff. Because in this industry, as in life, we, we need to, to continuously uh, improve and, and take steps forward. And there will always be a new technology that, we, that, that will uh, uh, come across. 
a new problem that we haven't worked with before, uh, a new setting, a new situation, new team, etc., etc. But what we practice during the camp is what Nicholas was talking about, the agile approach to software development and to life, basically. We practice this agile mindset that allows us to adopt to change, to, to uh, take new steps, solve problems in a creative way. And I think that uh, one thing that, that is uh, common for all our, our graduates is that mindset that they bear with themselves uh, uh, in the, in, in the, into the future that there is always something new to, to, to learn and a new problem to solve. And you, we can face change, not with fear, but, but rather with enthusiasm and see, that, see possibilities where other people see problems. So that's what's, what's Craft Academy is about. Basically, all the tech stuff that we do is basically a wrapper around this philosophy. Uh, so, uh, and you can read about our curriculum on, 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 uh, on our website. Uh, but, but for now, I think I, I'll stop there. If you're curious about Craft Academy, we'll be around. You can talk to us. And we have some, uh, some stuff. I would like Yunus to come here. Yunus, thank you very much. Oh, There's a photo up here. So <laughs> we have to do this American style. All right, thank this you. stuff. The presidential. This is uh, for Nicholas. Nicholas? Yes. Nicholas, you, you know, your style is the best style ever. I wish I could dress that, that good. You have the time before All right. me, so I can do it. Thank you. <laughs> and we have for us, for us, my man. Congratulations. And you could come and accept Carissa's diploma uh, <laughs> on behalf of, of her. Uh, Carissa is in, in South Africa. Uh, but congratulations to having a wonderful wife. She's awesome. I love her. All right. Okay, why is part of the agenda? team as well? <laughs> yes, so uh, thank you for listening, and I would like to invite all of you to the kitchen. We have a little bit of, of champagne, or yes, that, uh, and we would like to toast uh, for, uh, for the success of our, our uh, graduates, our alumni. All right? Okay, just for, before we finish, okay. uh, I mean, uh, from uh, the part of our students here, We'd like to thank Craft Academy and especially Thomas as a head coach. And he has always been there for us and always been problem solving and good enthusiasm. Uh, so uh, I think all of us are, uh, really appreciate that one. And also the other uh, coaches spread around the world, basically. One in, uh, in Pretoria, it's uh, Raul, and there's another the guy in, uh, in Nairobi. Nairobi. Yeah. And that is Sigu. And also we have uh, some coaches in Gothenburg. And also we have Rodrigo in place here. And Andy, who isn't here today. So uh, I'd like to, uh, yeah, a nice round of applause for all of those. <laughs> so thank you for the support. Thank you. All right. All right, let's get some, uh, some drinks. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Awesome, thanks. Great job, guys. Thanks. Great job. Very nice. So I was, I was uh, like, I wonder how you presented it. No, you know, but uh, you did an awesome job.